hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'll be doing an unboxing and a full review of this awesome looking solar battery wireless security camera from a brand called reblum right after this if you are new to my channel and would like to stay up to date with the latest tips and tricks for amazon fire devices and product reviews then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon for future notifications thank you so much all right guys so just recently a company by the name of reblum which is printed right over here on the bottom of the box decided to, to send me this uh, nice looking solar and battery powered wireless security camera this seems like a very nice camera um, some of the features <clears throat> so i wanted to first thank the company for sending me this product for the purpose of doing a review thank you so much and so this uh, some of the <clears throat> some of the features mentioned on the front of the box are the 355 degree angle pan and 90 90 degree tilt and it's also it says forever power it's solar powered you never need to plug it in although you do have the choice uh, to if you need to which i'll show you here in a minute and it's also uh, it's a wire free installation and a hassle free installation because you don't have to plug it into the wall because it will be because the solar panel will provide all the power that it needs in order to be used so <clears throat> on the bottom of the box this is their uh, proudly printed uh, brand name reblum i have not heard of this brand before i'll be honest so it's kind of new to me so i hope i'm pronouncing their brand name properly and then on the side of the box you can see that it gives you hd video uh, capture a high definition image and video it has a two-way talk feature uh, communicate with family and pets easily um, you can insert a micro sd card slot supports up to 120 gigabytes of local storage and this this camera does also have wi-fi by the way and also has alarm notification uh, get instant alerts while you are on the go and of course the wi-fi connection uh, connects uh, via 802.11 B, G, and N using the 2.4 gigahertz frequency, just so you guys know. And by the way, the model number of this uh, solar battery po powered security camera is RB-3PT1. And on the other side of the box, it shows the key features. It's a smart home surveillance camera. It has remote access with the free app that they provide. I'll show you guys here that in a minute. And you can uh, play back or record the video by micro USD card. It's got enhanced uh, high, defini high definition night vision, of course. It's got intelligent motion detection and clear two-way radio built and right into the security camera itself. So let's go ahead and unbox this camera and I'll show you what comes inside. So once you open the box, you get this 24 hour surveillance sticker. This is very nice, nice size sticker. It looks like it's maybe like a two by three inch uh, wide sticker and <clears throat> The packaging is very nice. You get a nice sized. This is the solar battery wireless security camera. This is a quick start guide, and which is a, a nice size guide, by the way. And it, and it tells you exactly how to plug in the camera and where to mount the solar uh, panel as well, so it gets enough sunlight during the day while it charges, so you can use it anytime that you want, any anytime that you want in the daytime or at night, because this camera does come with the night vision feature feature as well. And then here is the. <clears throat> solar panel itself the size of the solar panel is about i say it's about six inches by four inches give or take so it's like a six by four inch uh solar panel and it's very nice and here's the mounting screw right here and i'll get to that in a minute and it comes with a nice size cable as well and then inside the box here is your camera here's two different mounts let me go ahead and take this out this is this is the mount this is like the wall mount where the camera is gonna slide right into i'll show you guys that here in a minute and then we have the this is the solar panel mount right right over here this is a nice and adjustable uh, solar panel mount for the camera to be installed uh, preferably close by the camera but the, the cable for the solar panel is about eight to ten feet it seems like it's a good size it's a good length cable okay and so that's the second part and then of course you get the <clears throat> You get the mounting screws and whatnot to go ahead and install your solar panel and the camera in place. And that was one. One is for the solar panel and here's the second package for the camera itself. And then here is the camera. And this camera seems like it's... Uh, actually, before, before I show you guys the camera, let's go ahead and finish with the accessories. And you, they also provide you with a USB-A to USB-C charging cable just in case you want to... Go ahead and fully charge uh, the camera before you place it outside to be charged by the sun. 
and actually that's what I did myself. I plugged it in overnight and ch charged the camera fully before I got before I went ahead and installed outside. <clears throat> so that's a nice that's a nice feature. And yeah, and the packaging the packaging is it's very well packed, nice and tight, and it comes in, in this nice little handy dandy box. So let me show you what the camera looks like. All right, guys. So this is the camera right here. This this seems like a very well built camera, and it also has like dual uh, floodlights right in the front. That's what the white pieces are and one of these lenses and all that's a sensor i'm pretty sure that's a sensor on top and this is the actual camera lens on the in the, in the center bottom and <clears throat> this is their reblom brand this is a very nice camera and as you can see this camera does swivel uh, to the right and to the left i believe it's a 90 90 degree actually this has a 90 degree tilt and very close to a 360 360 degree well to be specific 355 degrees as i said on the box 355 degree pan so it's a very very nice feature and here is the wi-fi antennas looks like it's got two antennas which are adjustable and then here on the <clears throat> this is where you mount the camera right here and the barcode for this camera is excuse me the qr code for this camera is right over here you will need that to add it to uh to when you add the device to the to the app that when you download and install their app which is called the Cloud Edge app. I'll show you that here in a minute. Here's some more camera specs right here, and <clears throat> and then here on on the uh, on the back side of the camera, this is your USB ch USB C charging port. So you can use say like a, a 10 or a 20 foot any length of USB C to charge it to to initially charge it. You can use the cable that it came in the box for this uh, security camera, or you can use your own USB C cable to fully charge this camera or you can have it permanently plugged in to use it indoors as well or outdoors whatever however you want to do it if you don't want to use the solar panel but it's nice to have the option that this can be solar powered so you can save money on your uh, on your electric bill and also you don't have to run any, any cables and whatnot outside so this is the charging port right here and then on on the bottom side of the camera once you open this uh once you open this piece of rubber right here and this is waterproof by the way all right, guys. So once you open the bottom piece of this camera, this is this is nice and, and this is a nice and tight seal, so it's waterproof. So here, this is here. You can see three three separate things going on on, at, on the bottom on the bottom side. The I believe the right hand side button, the swipe button. There's two buttons to press. The one on the right is the power button. You press and hold down for like seven to eight seconds, or maybe ten seconds, to turn the power on of the camera before you start using it. And you will see a red light right over here. Uh, that will that will activate on the on the on the front of the camera. I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. So if you press and hold it for a few seconds, you can see that red light that just turned on, and that's letting you know that the camera is currently powered on. Okay. Then I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. And then the other button on the left left hand side, right over here, this is the oops, sorry. This is the <clears throat> this is the reset button just in case you want to reset the the camera back to factory settings you can do that and then you can see right here right in the bottom center this is the micro us micro sd slot so you can get you, you you get yourself a micro sd card up to 128 gigabytes of storage you can insert right in here to have local storage which is very nice i, I like this feature even though you can have a uh 24 hour live view um convenience right from the free app that they provide which is very nice so as long as inputs and outputs this is this is what this is what the camera has um the back of the camera this is where the two-way speaker uh um, is built in right in the back and it's actually pretty loud i tried it a few times and it's very nice so <clears throat> to mount the camera it's actually very easy to be honest i'm gonna go ahead and fold these down so this side this side of this bracket installation bracket this would go the three screws would go into here and this would go like say for example on the wall like that sideways and then the camera actually sorry i had that upside down and then the camera would slide right into here so once you install once you install this bracket onto the wall then it's just going to slide right in there and of course as you can see here oh, let me go ahead and mount that here so once you install this bracket onto the wall of your choice whether it's outside the house or the garage or inside or wherever, so then you just basically slide the camera right into it. And I don't want I don't want to go ahead and, and uh, clip it in right now, but you're gonna hear a snapping sound, <clears throat> which means the camera is actually installed in place now. And that's all you really have to do. Of course, you want to go ahead and turn on the camera. You want to connect to it using this QR code right here. <clears throat> and of course, before you do that, 
if you look inside the manual, let me go ahead and show you right now. So if you look here, in order to download their free app from the Apple App Store or the Android Google Play, um, I, I personally have an Android phone, so you can go ahead and scan. You just open up your camera and scan the QR code right here for Android. But if you have an Apple device, whether it's an iPad or an iPhone, you can go ahead and scan the iOS side on the left-hand side. And then you just go through the basic instructions. Um, it's very easy, easy. It's very easy to install, and it's uh, well written in English, and I believe in Spanish and back as well. It's got like another one or two languages, and you, it actually walks you step by step. On after you install the app, you just go ahead and create an account on the cloud edge is basically uh, a username and a password and an email address and then it just tells you exactly what to do how to connect to the camera how to add how to add the camera to the app and once you add it then the camera is fully activated and uh, then you can just have uh, your camera installed outside and have fun with it and set up all the features all right guys so i went ahead and uh, i went ahead and mounted uh the Reblum 2K camera, by the way, this is the solar powered camera. I could not install it outside because it's all metal sheeting and I could not drill into that metal sheeting outside, outside the building. So I decided to use it as a security camera that's USB-C powered. I'm going to go ahead and plug it into the wall. I have like a 10 foot USB-C cable and you can use any, you should be able to use any USB-C cable with either a 1 amp or a 2 amp power adapter as it states in the manual, I believe is what I read. So I went ahead and mounted it down here just to see what's going on in the basement, 24 hours. So let me go ahead and show you what the app looks like right now. You want to go ahead and, and download and install the app. So we're going to go ahead and open our camera. Whether you have a an Android phone or an, an Apple iPhone. I personally have an Android phone. So you open up your camera and you will see this where it says Play Store link. You just scan the QR code for Android if you have an Android device. Or use the uh ios qr code if you have an apple phone and you go ahead and download this cloud edge app this the cloud edge app is totally free once you download it and install it you instead of open it's going to say install after you installing it after installing the app the free application you can go ahead and open it and right on the screen you can see that it says um it's asking for an account number of course you need, you need to first create an account before you start using the app and the, the creating creating an account is free so on the bottom it says we in no account yet question mark is a sign up now so i'm going to go ahead and click on that and right here this is where you enter your email address so now once you've done that successfully on top uh, now you can see no device has been added now it says add device you need to click on that and now it says allowed uh, allow cloud edge to access the, the this device's location i'm going to go ahead and choose while using this app the cloud edge app does support multiple devices we're looking uh, for the, this is a solar powered battery camera and it's already right on top highlighted in black and bold. It says battery camera. You click on that and now you can see that it says hold the device power button to start the device. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the camera. And from this option, to be honest, you just go ahead and follow the exact directions that it tells you. And when the, within just a few minutes, I'd say about two or three minutes, you are actually connected to the camera. So I'm going to go ahead and do that on my end. So once the camera is turned on, Press the battery camera button to wake up the device if it is asleep. Uh, please stay near to your router for the best signal. So go ahead and hit next once the camera is turned on. Please reset the device. Hold the reset button on your device for uh, for four to five seconds. We can choose from here. We're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and connect to my Wi-Fi. Solar power security camera. Original box sitting on my table. So let's go ahead and mount it outside. So, let's go ahead and mount it outside. so from here it says current place is good. So from here it says current you can install the camera. You just click next. Uh, video recording light on right now. You can see the Wi-Fi signal is great. The battery seems like it's fully charged on the left hand side. Now I do have this in standard standard definition. I'm going to click on the right hand side. I'm going to switch to QHD which is high definition. So there we are guys. We are connected to the camera. So I'm going to go ahead and install this outside and show you exactly what all the features and how nice this app is, the free app from Cloud Edge. You can flip flip this sideways, or you can horizontal or vertical if you want. You can go vertical if you want to see a full screen of the camera. And as you can see, you can, you can choose the live view, you can choose the history, you can choose, they also have a cloud service. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go back to the live view. You can, okay, so once you're connected, you can take a screenshot, you can hold to talk, you can use it as a two-way radio. Or you can choose uh, the record button. You can choose the 
motion detection or you can shoot or you can uh, tilt and pan and tilt right here so once you choose that option i'm gonna go ahead and go down here i am in the shadows or you can go this is a dust pan um up to 355 degrees is what it said on the box and as you can see i can see the entire basement and what's going on just in case if anything you know happens down here and whatnot and i can zoom all the way to the right or i can zoom up and down as you can see so you can adjust it any way you like i think uh i think right there would be great and basically i want to see i would like to see the main entrance to see who comes and goes and there we go guys and you can choose actually that's a little bit too far i'm gonna go to the right and the response time is pretty good now as you can see i'm connected to my wi-fi uh, using about just about under 100 kilobytes which is not a big deal so there we are so we can turn on the light and there it is there it goes with the the floodlight it has a dual floodlight on the front of the camera or you can turn it off i'm gonna go ahead and turn it off to conserve battery but just in case if you install this outside and it's very dark on the side of the house or wherever you, whichever location you have installed it um, you can go ahead and turn on the light or you can swipe left to see more features there is a siren there is audio warning and strobe lights uh, there is full color mode and there is the album I'm gonna go so let's move on to the conclusion of this video and this uh, 2k camera from Reblom here we are at the end of the video so my final conclusion is that this is a nice sturdy camera that was very easy to install the app is very easy to download, install, and set up. It's, it's very straightforward. It leads you to connect to the camera and add the camera very easily, step-by-step -step process. I've never set up anything so easy, to be honest. I've set up multiple devices. This thing is very easy to set up. You don't have to be an engineer. You don't have to be very sophisticated. It, it's a very easy walkthrough setup, and the camera seems to be very well uh, built. And the resolution, the 2K resolution is very nice. And I, I, loot, I love the fact that even though I installed it downstairs in the basement to keep track of things, um, I might be moving it outside uh, maybe or I might just get a second unit from the company. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I do like the fact that it does come with a solar, with a solar panel that, uh, that, plugs into the, that, that plugs into that USB port, USB-C port on top of the, in the back of the camera. So that's a very nice option. So if you guys are interested in, re in purchasing one of these uh, solar security cameras for your own peace of mind, go ahead and look in the description below. I will leave the link. I will leave the link in the description for you down below. And if you guys have any questions, go ahead and drop me a line below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. I know it's been a longer video. I just want to show you how easy the app is and how user friendly it is. And if you guys like this type of content, please give me a thumbs up and share out the video with friends and family and relatives. And if you are new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you, it doesn't cost you guys anything, but it really helps me out on YouTube. So other than that, thank you so much again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next review. Take care.